Hey guys, my peek inside today is lift the flap questions and answers about time. This is a really good one. There are a lot of these lift the flap question and answer books about lots of different subjects. This one of course is time. And when I was trying to teach my kiddos about time, it's sort of, maybe it's just me, but it sort of seemed like a little bit of an abstract subject that was kind of hard to explain. Hey bud. Hey. And so this book has really, really helped us. And it's time, yes, it's time how to read a clock, but it's also sort of calendars and eras and all those abstract sort of time things. So it's sort of just divided up into different sections. So this is when, so it has all these questions. When did time begin? When do flowers bloom? When did people start telling time? When does being on time really matter? When does one day in and another begin? So all of these when questions, and then they all have the little lip, the, lift the flaps with the question, the answers. And I'm gonna tell you, I learned a lot from this book also, stuff that I didn't know. This is the why page. Why do some clocks have hands? Why do other clocks have just numbers? Why are some people always late? Why are days longer in summer and shorter in the winter? Tell them about Big Bend. Mm -hmm. Why do some and clocks have bells? Why do we have leap years? Why are there 365 days in a year? Why is the time different in different countries? Mm -hmm. So time zones and such. Watch out, bud. And so I will tell you that when we were going, hey, and sh -sh -sh -sh. Why is there when we were going through this snow? book. I will tell you that some of the things were a little bit more advanced that we skipped over. So this definitely, you can start out with some of the basic time principles and it can grow with your family. Um, we didn't start out with talking about time zones and all that stuff. We started talking about how there's 30 days in a month or 31 or 28 or 29, just depending. This is all what? So what time do birds wake up? What what is a timeline? What did people do before clocks? Uh, what's on a clock? What are the different parts of a clock? And then there are also quizzes that kind of teaches you how to tell time and then it'll have a quiz where it'll show a clock and it will uh, ask you, you know, what time is it? Or it will have different clocks, some digital and some not, and it'll have you match up the different clocks. So it is good for teaching how to tell time. This is the how page, so how do clocks keep time? How come, some, how come some clocks have letters? It talks about Roman numerals. How many hours? It does, I know. How many hours are in a day? How many minutes in an hour? How many seconds in a minute? How long does it take to boil an egg, train to be a doctor, play a soccer match? So it gives sort of, you know, talks about the relative time between different things, which is kind of an abstract, it's a hard concept to get, I think, for kids. Then yes or no, so here's a little bit of a quiz. Can I travel back in time? Can animals tell the time? Here's the matching of the clocks that I was telling you about. So it talks about how not all countries celebrate New Year on the same time. Who and where? Who designed the first clocks? Who decides what the time is in each place? Who's Big Ben? Who invented time? Where is it always daytime? So anyway, it's a lot of really good information. Which planet has the longest year? Which months are 30 days long? So. Lots of really good information, a, lo uh, a lot of answers for some of those tough questions that you may not know, and also helpful ways to explain questions that you kind of say, oh, how do I make that make sense? So really, really good. This is hardcover. It's $14.99. I highly recommend this book. We love it. I will put the link in the description, and if you have questions, let me know. Thanks.